welcome back to another spring cleaning vlog. This spring cleaning vlog is going to be a little bit different than the first two. So part one, I did the front foyer and I started my garden as my spring project. Part two, I was doing some DIYs. I made a DIY wreath and these cute little, or uh, reused my hunter boots to create flower vases, but also planters. We're gonna turn them into planters in the garden once it gets a little nicer out. And then my room, my dedicated room for that vlog was the laundry and yoga room reset, I guess you could say, our laundry closet with all of our utility stuff and cleaning supplies. So that was really great, but between everything we've been doing the last few weeks, we went away to Toronto, we, Last Monday kind of threw me off because we had to go get our tires changed to switched over to summer tires. We've just had a lot of appointments and, and things have just been chaotic. There was Easter, we just finished or came over Easter weekend. The house in total feels messy and feels just, oh, my house is a mess or my atmosphere is a mess. It weighs on my general overall sense of being. I figured it would make sense and also be a little bit more, maybe approachable is the right word, to film today and tomorrow and go through a regular day, just a regular day in my life. I have to work today, work tomorrow. I also have a midwife appointment today, but clean as I go. And it's basically a all over full house clean, very much surface level clean. Let's get everything looking good. And then the rest of the spring cleaning series will continue to be more of the deep, declutter, you know, pull everything out of drawers and closets and make everything look really nice and, cl and clean again. Today, I have to film a coffee talk because yesterday was a holiday, which was normally my filming day. Which I was thinking I could make a matcha for, and then I just have lots of editing to do, but the way that I'm gonna go about cleaning through each station of the house, through each room that I'm doing something in, just kind of clean as I go throughout my day. This vlog is perfect if you are busy and you don't have the time to dedicate a day, two days, three days, a whole week to a big deep clean, but you want some cleaning motivation as you go about your busy, normal daily routine. This is that vlog. So buckle on up. If you're here for some cleaning inspo, I hope that you are able to get it. That is my intention with this vlog. Let's go make a matcha and start our clean as you go, my clean as you go. Look at the disaster of this kitchen. It's so, oh, I hate not just looking at it, but even showing it, but this is reality, okay? This happens. It's okay if your kitchen looks like this. And if it doesn't, please don't judge me. So I just did a grocery order this morning when I dropped Easton off at daycare and I decided to pick up some matcha. I wanted to try, I couldn't choose between the two flavors, so I picked up both. They're a lot smaller than I thought when I was doing my order, but I picked up a vanilla and a blueberry matcha. And look at this nifty thing. I have a frother now. I had an Amazon gift card to use up, so I decided to get a frother because I've been moving away from the coffee creamers and getting back into just putting like oat milk and such in my coffees. So I'm thinking I'm gonna froth up a hot matcha, a blueberry oat milk matcha or do i want vanilla okay the vanilla has lower caffeine so i'm gonna do vanilla since i did have a coffee this morning i can do that i can do that this is gonna be the first section of my quick tidy i'm just gonna quickly declutter move the recycling put those dishes in the dishwasher and then wipe down the surfaces and make my matcha <laughs> I'm so excited to start our kitchen renovations. We actually just went through our layout yesterday with Ryan's dad and it's a lot more expensive than we thought it was gonna be. So we're cutting a couple things out of our renovation list, but I'm not too worried about layouts. Like I hate, I don't know, this is this is whole 
cabinet is actually and countertop is going to go all of the way to the window that you guys can see over there and this there will have a like we're going to have a whole coffee station which i'm excited for there are a couple things though this might seem super obvious to some of you but for those of you that might not have like a mom or just someone to ask simple housekeeping questions to i get you there's so many things that i wouldn't say I'm like embarrassed to admit that I've had to Google along the way, but just little tips that and little tricks that you would hope someone would pass down and teach to you. So just a few things. One is if you are ever curious what to wipe down your counters or just your kitchen with in general, warm water and some dish soap. That's what I use on my countertops. That's what I use on the island, the kitchen table, because dish soap can be used obviously on dishes. You can obviously use it anywhere, any surface that you're using to prepare food and things like that as well. And then the other little thing, if your glassware or your kettles or your uh, silverware, utensils, anything like that, if they ever get any kind of water stains, then use vinegar. So I just filled our kettle with vinegar. You can see we are on a well, so sometimes our water does get a little hard. I just used the rest of our kettle water to water our two plants over here in the corner. And I'm filling this with vinegar and I'm just gonna let it sit for a while and it'll take all of those water stains out. And then I can actually use this in a couple more places. So if your toilet gets toilet stains, or if again, I could put this in a bowl afterwards and continue to soak things in it. So I used quite a bit of vinegar, so I'm gonna reuse this throughout the day. But it's just another simple, easy hack that again, might seem super obvious to some, but might not be to other people if you don't have that place to ask those kinds of questions as you're keeping your own place, keeping your own apartment, keeping your own house. So watch your time. Just left my midwife appointment and all is well, all is good. Uh, we went over my 20 week ultrasound of 22 weeks today actually. Happy, baby is healthy. Well, I can't confirm baby's happy, but seems very happy and very healthy. I figured while I'm out, something that I have not done since winter has ended and they've stopped salting the roads and everything is gotten a car wash. I think I showed on my way into the car how dirty the outside of my Jeep is. So I just got my summer tires put back on last week and I'm thinking getting a car wash on the way home wouldn't be a bad idea. The inside of my car needs a really good car wash too, but we'll start here. I have tried so hard, stumbling in the dark to learn how to see already saw mm, you're the one to blame for Ooh, the fact that i can reach for the best of myself it's all good when you show the
I just did a big everything shower this morning, which was so necessary. I was gonna style my hair, but my energy is just... The back of my hair is still kind of damp. Otherwise, I would just bite the bullet, pull out my curling iron and do it, but it's a rainy day. It's freezing cold outside. And I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> totally just not in the mood. I only style my hair usually once a week or use heat on my hair once a week and then I try to prolong as many styles as I can just for hair health. Uh, but I did, I've been using this blow dryer and it sucks because I actually really, really like it. I originally got it and got to try it for a sponsorship way back in October. And I'm kind of pissed because every time I pull out that blow dryer, I just rage at, they just never, they just stopped talking to me and my assistant. Like we've sent our invoice. We've sent so many follow-up emails being like, hi, like we need you to pay the invoice and just no response, none. So the hairdryer is Zuvi. As much as I want to say, try it because it's really cool. It's like a light, a hairdryer that dries your hair with light. They have, they never paid me. So that part sucks got a family to feed and they didn't pay me. I'm sorry, I am in the mood and I don't wanna be in a mood and I'm not gonna like project that anywhere at all. It's just one of those days where like my energy is not where I wanted it to be and I had all of these plans and I'm trying to clean as I go and I just, I have to just readjust a little bit. I'm actually filming a coffee talk today. I switched out of my nice clothes into comfy clothes because my gut just feels off. Everything just feels off. And I think I might actually make the coffee talk about how to keep going when you're tired and you don't have energy or you just don't feel well. I think that that's a very common thing that a lot of people experience, including myself. And I could use that and use my experience today and what I'm doing about it as a talk. So because of that, I won't talk about that too much, but because I did just get ready. I just did some computer work to start my, are you well? Are you okay? I just did some computer work to start my day. And I came up here to style my hair, but I'm not gonna even do that. I'm not even gonna bother. Instead, I brought my cleaning caddy up so I can do a quick five minute clean of, oh, of my bathroom. I'm gonna start a five minute timer and just do a five minute clean of this bathroom. Starting with, I'll put the toilet cleaner in the toilet first. The garbage is overflowing, so thank God I have garbage bags. Clear off the counter, clear up the clutter, and then if I have time, I'll quickly scrub everything. Go. Is another man's baggage Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere Space suit on, can't breathe this air TNT going off in here Ain't we a pair? Cause you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding So for lunch, I've made myself this bowl I just threw random stuff that we had in the fridge that needs to be used up So some avocado, some tofu and peppers with lemon garlic dressing Air fried sweet potato, tomato, some slaw And then I put a Greek dressing on it Cause that's again just something we have in the fridge that needs to be used up And while I was waiting for that to cook I cleared off the island It just needs to be wiped But I'll do that after I'm done eating Don't step on my rose My stomach really is not feeling very good at all literally felt this way since I woke up today. It's not even tiredness, like I could beat past the tiredness. It's my gut, like something feels off with my gut and I don't think eating lunch helped. I already know and have learned that I can't eat a lot, so it's much better not only just for how I feel to eat smaller meals throughout the day, 
because everything is so squished in there you know the baby's taking up so much space so my stomach is being squished so my meals definitely need to be smaller and then more frequent but my blood pressure is also very very low super super low and whenever i get pregnant it gets like incredibly low so i had my midwife appointment yesterday and my blood my blood pressure was 88 over 40 so so low and it's good to eat again more frequently throughout the day rather than to go long periods of time without food but i find every time i eat the last day or two i feel really off luckily i already reworked my list today like i filmed my coffee talk already and i've just been casually cleaning while i go around the house it would make the most sense for me to actually rest for a little bit and see if i can get myself to feel a little bit better there's only one more thing i have to do today which is send over my podcast to my network and that's gonna take me maybe 15 20 minutes so i think i might do that the last 15 20 minutes of my work day it's a bad habit to just procrastinate it to the last second but i am really really not feeling well so i'm gonna put on is it cake and i'm gonna lay down on the couch for a little bit however there are two loads of laundry right there that need folding and there are a bunch of toys on the ground not really a bunch but like you know the floor could use a little bit of a cleanup okay so i'm giving myself till three to rest and recoup then from three till three thirty i will tidy and 3 30 till 4 i'll send over my podcast and then that's it for my work day so i need to wrap up this vlog today i was planning last night when i started to feel just a wee bit better i folded all of the laundry but then we ended up getting a storm i don't even want to talk about it i don't even want to show you what it looks like outside behind you right now because it is so upsetting <laughs> I'll stop being dramatic and just show you. This is an immediate no. So yeah, the power went out for a bit, the internet wasn't working, and I decided to just go to bed. My stomach still felt pretty off last night, but I woke up and I feel relatively normal today, thank the Lord. Today I'm vlogging, but I'm vlogging a bonus vlog, so it's for like the extra vlog that I upload every week for members. It's mainly a computer day, hence why I'm in just like comfy, comfy attire supposed to be a relaxing spring like hobbies and gardening and such but this weather just immediately gave me the middle finger for that so <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna start my vlog at lunchtime do a nice stretch paint my nails kind of do a bit more of self-care focus today and then tomorrow I'm meeting my sister and Larissa for dinner and I'm gonna do my embroidery and I think I might do some painting so it's just like a spring hobbies kind of vlog but yeah today I want to finish this vlog because I'm about to make some breakfast Ryan took Easton to daycare for me today because the roads we just got our summer tires on and the roads are this so to keep me from having to drive he took Easton, which gave me some extra time this morning. I wanna make some breakfast, I'm gonna make some avocado toast, and then I'm gonna head upstairs and quickly, quickly put away the rest of the clothes up there. However, the one thing that just cannot seem to stay clean in my house is the kitchen. All my hard work, gone. While my toast is toasting, I'm going to two minute tidy the kitchen back up. Well, I got the dishwasher unloaded, counters still need to be wiped, and the rest of the dishes still need to be loaded, and then I'm just gonna pile up what I need to wash in the sink, and I'll do it later tonight. I find it hard to like, I don't know, relax and eat when things are messy, so I'm thinking, even though it's gonna make my toast go cold, I'm gonna finish doing this first. It better. Not perfect, but at least it's a start. I'm sorry for the times I forget. 
what it was like living life like a silhouette, tracing the lines and ignore what's inside till you. Sometimes I see it all so clear. You are the reason I'm here. It's actually perfect timing because my camera has 2% battery left. So I did my half. Brian still has to do his. That's why I stopped where I did. Uh, the other half of the dressers that need to be tidied up are his half, so I'm sure when he gets home, he's going to be so impressed that I did that, that he'll probably, like, he's an Aries, he's very competitive, so he's gonna come home, see I did that, and then <laughs> immediately start his half. I would bet five dollars on it. And I tidied off my makeup desk. Once I'm done getting ready, I usually just, like, start my day and don't take the two minutes to clean it up, so that needed to be done. I also just got these really cute flower clips. They come in the cutest spring colors. They said that they were for thick hair, but I have really, really thick hair and a lot of hair. So these ones will work, but they always, like if I'm rocking around, eventually it'll let go and just kind of like hang in my hair like this. I'm doing a video on some of my favorite spring things, including like spring hairstyles. And I just thought that these would be more springy. So I decided to try them out. My bangs are also at such an awkward length and I really need to book a hair appointment because if I put them in the middle, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> so yeah, my hair is in an awkward phase right now, but that's fine. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this spring cleaning video. A bit more of a spring clean as you go. Everything is definitely not perfect, but I feel like everything got a facial and now I can go into like the deep cleaning starting again on the weekend. Um, and if you want to see what I get up to in terms of like hobbies, a little bit of self-care, going out tomorrow for dinner and perhaps stopping at the mall for those makeup pickups, things like that, then I host a membership on this channel where there is a bonus vlog every single Sunday. And without further ado, I'm gonna go get some computer work done and then jump into a bit more of a relaxing shut the blinds, pretend I'm in an adult fort all day, kind of spring day. Good luck with your spring cleaning and I will talk to you guys all in the next one. Bye.